Hello traders, welcome back to today's analysis for 12th of July 2023. First, let us look into today's market. Today, both Nifty and Bank Nifty opened slightly gap up and both started to rally up. Today again, we chose Nifty instead of Bank Nifty to trade. The reason behind that is, yesterday I had clearly mentioned there is no proper direction in Bank Nifty and there is lot of indecision. You can see, even though Nifty and Bank Nifty started to rally up, Bank Nifty started to trade in a range. And I had also clearly mentioned Nifty is completely bullish while Bank Nifty has lot of selling pressure. So this is the reason I chose to trade Nifty and as soon as this range was broken, I entered my trade here in this candle and I booked my profit somewhere around here. And another reason for being bullish today is, yesterday I had clearly mentioned there is a inside candle in daily time frame and today the market opened exactly above the inside candle. You can check it here. Yesterday I had marked this zone and I told whichever side it breaks, it gives huge momentum. As you can see, the market opened exactly above that inside candle. That was also another major reason for going bullish. Moving on to Bank Nifty and once again you can see, even though Nifty was rallying up, Bank Nifty was trading sideways and once Nifty started falling, you can see the sell off in the Bank Nifty. So this is the reason I always tell Bank Nifty always follows Nifty. As I always tell trade with the confluence. When Nifty and Bank Nifty both are at resistance, try to sell it. Or when both Nifty and Bank Nifty are trading at support, try to buy it. Avoid trading when they are trading paradoxically. And last time also when Nifty was near the support, I had given the same call like here, here and all. It has taken support and rallied up. But it has already tested multiple times. This support will be weak and next time when it comes here, if you see any weakness in the candle and there is a sell volume, try to short the index. Moving on to today's analysis for tomorrow. As you can see, Nifty started to rally up from beginning of the session and in the second half, it was completely retraced back. And as you can see, this zone, it has been tested multiple times as both support as well as resistance in all these places. Even though this candle appeared to be breakdown of this support level, it was immediately retraced back. And I could see lot of buying volume at the end of the session. Even though there is huge sell off in the second session, I'm bullish for tomorrow. And my first target will be 19,485 and the second target will be 19,523 and the third target will be 19,555 and again I'm expecting a gap up tomorrow and below this swing I consider the market to be bearish and my first target will be 19,398 and the second target will be 19,367 and the third target will be 19,332 and our final target will be 19,300. Breakdown of this swing low can easily take us to previous close that is 19,367. And if you look at the chart according to stop loss hunting, after the expiry, sellers were present only here and buyers were present here. And as market started to retrace here, all these buyers would have exited. And now the only place where the buyers are present is here. And at the same time, the sellers who sold here must have exited when they saw the market trending up till this level. So I'm assuming the only place where buyers and sellers are present is here. So it can move either of the direction. If it is hunting the stop loss of the sellers here in the second half, it has to come down so that it can take out the buyers here on expiry. And in vice versa, if the market is going down, taking away all these stop loss, it has to trend up again and be ready for the expiry day. These are just my assumptions. And if it has to hunt the buyers, it has to come down a long way. Instead, hunting the sellers will be very much easy for the market tomorrow. Moving on to Bank Nifty, same goes with the Bank Nifty also. You can see this is the place where sellers are present and when the market retraced this much, sellers would have booked their profit and exited. And all the fresh sellers who are present here would have booked their losses or profit somewhere around here. The buyer stop loss here was taken out here and again the fresh buyers were stopped here. And today even those buyer stop loss were hunted. Even though the market is complete bearish mode, I'm bullish for tomorrow. The only reason behind this is stop loss hunting. 
As I always tell, market provides equal opportunity to both buyers as well as sellers. Here, this is the only place buyers are present. And I could observe there is a huge bullish volume here. And another reason for being bullish is my personal indicator, which is also indicating bullishness tomorrow. Like you can see here, this high has to be retraced tomorrow. So I am bullish for tomorrow and our first target will be 44,842 and the second target will be 44,923 and the third target will be 45,000 and fourth target will be 45,084. And if the market start to trade below 44,663, then market will easily retrace back till the psychological level 44,444. Tomorrow, if the market takes resistance near the target one and start to trade below the closing price of today, I'll short it below this range and I'll hold the trade till 44,444. All these levels are in my trading view account and the link is in the description box below. If you like this analysis, give it a thumbs up. Happy trading.